Hey guys, it's Noelle back here in our Beta Palo Alto store. And you guys will never guess where I just came from. I'm so excited to tell you about the ride that I just took around beautiful Palo Alto. It was such a beautiful day today. And I took this scooter out for a spin. Guys, this is the Okai Beetle right here, this beautiful scooter. Let me pop the kickstand on, take off my helmet. You can see I was, I was filming some footage um, actually while I was riding the scooter and I'm so excited to show you guys that footage in just a second. But I wanna tell you a little bit about the Okai. If you're new and joining us here, we are live. I'm your host, Noelle, and I'm coming to you guys again from our beautiful Beta Palo Alto store. Right now I'm in our shop studio, which is at the back of the store. If you guys happen to be in the Bay Area, come on down here, check us out. We love Love, love, love to tell you all about the innovative products that we have here at Beta. One of them being the Okai Beetle electric scooter. Now, Okai is a company based in China, and they are obsessed with micromobility. They uh, really want to change and reshape the way that we think about transit. Now, if you're someone who is a commuter like myself, the Okai Beetle is such a great option for getting you to and from work, uh, the gym, the grocery store, maybe a friend's house, wherever it is you're going. The Okai will get you there um, safely and also with a bit of flair, which I love. Look at how stylish this scooter is. Now, the thing that I love, I think, the most about the Okai is this cushy seat right here. It's so comfortable. When I took it out for a ride um, just now, I did go over a couple of bumps and it really helped uh, kind of absorb all of the shock because there is a suspension uh, feature underneath the seat. So uh, the, the extra layer of suspension actually helps with that shock absorption. The tires on the Okai also are shock absorbing. So again, you get a really nice, smooth, steady ride, a really quiet ride as well. Now, Okai really prides itself on helping to uh, kind of lower carbon emissions. They've already l uh, reduced gasoline emissions um, by 80, 80 million gallons, over 80 million gallons, and carbon emissions by over 500 million kilograms. How amazing is that? So with the Okai Beetle, you can really kind of, you know, do your part, especially as a, you know, a citizen of the world, someone who is uh, concerned about the environment like myself. I know I try to be eco-friendly and, and go with eco-friendly options as often as I can, especially as a consumer. And so the Okai Beetle is going to be a phenomenal option for you if you're environmentally conscious. And like I said, if you're someone uh, that, you know, uh, goes places on a regular basis that maybe aren't too, too far away where you don't necessarily need a car to get you there um, or another mode of transportation, you can take your Okai out. The range on this is 25 miles. So that's the distance that you can go with a char a single charge of the Okai Beetle. You can also go up to, I believe it's 15, 16 miles an hour, and you guys are gonna see when I hit the road in just a second when I play the footage that I just took, I really get up there, um, and very quickly too. In just a matter of seconds, you can accelerate up to that um, full, you know, full MPH um, where you're cruising, the wind's blowing in your hair. It's so much fun, and you also feel a definitely a level of freedom that I haven't felt on any other electric scooter really in, in such a long time. And I think that's because it's such a comfortable ride too. Being in a seated position, you just feel so much more at ease. Um, and you really have a full range of motion here with the handlebars, great turning radius, very easy to turn, again, because of the stability. Um, the wheels are uh, pneumatic wheels. They're 10-inch uh, wheels, and they're very, very stable. And again, they handle the terrain, the bumps very well because they absorb um, some of that shock factor there. So it's a really smooth ride, incredibly quiet, like I said. I couldn't believe, I was driving down kind of a residential street, as you'll see in a moment, and it was so nice and peaceful and the Okai doesn't bring any additional noise um, pollution to the street. 
So it's really nice and smooth and quiet. If you're doing it, if you're, if you're taking a ride more for function and for practicality because you're going somewhere, this will get you there um, safely. But even if you're just someone that wants to maybe go and cruise at the end of the, uh, you know, a long day, um, maybe you just want to relax. Maybe you want to go on a ride around your neighborhood. And now even if you guys have hills in your neighborhood, this can handle a 20% grade. So you can make it up um, those those smaller inclines. Um, it can handle hills, which is great, especially for us here in the Bay Area. We've got some really hilly terrain, um, so love taking the Okai out. It can handle uh, the you know those those inclines as well, which is really nice. I'll also walk you guys through the three different driving modes. It has three driving modes um, in it. And um, you can choose, kind of take, take your pick, depending on what type of a day it is, where you're going. You can go a little bit faster. Maybe if you're, if you're trying to get somewhere quickly, um, you can go a little bit slower if you want to be a little more eco-friendly and also reserve some of your battery. The brake system on the Okai Beetle is also really, really phenomenal because it is a, um, it actually puts the energy, um, it recoups the energy and puts it back into the battery. So you end up extending the life of your uh, ride every time that you hit the brakes. How great is that? The brakes are also really, really sensitive. We've got uh, the brake system up here both front and back and, and rear brakes. Um, and, and the brakes are great for, you know, obviously keeping you safe. If you're living in a res residential area, you're probably gonna hit some stop signs pretty frequently, or maybe even some stop lights, depending on where you are. Um, so really nice to know that when you hit the brakes, you will brake, especially when you're on the road, maybe there are other cars or maybe there are pedestrians crossing the street. It's really, really nice to know that in a pinch, you can hit the brake system and you can stop. There's also a cruise control feature on this guy. Um, so, so the cruise control is great too if you're, if you're you know, in that, um, that faster mode and maybe you're going somewhere, you're, you're in a little bit of a hurry, you can hit the cruise control and just cruise on through. And then of course, take it off, just hit the throttle again or hit the brake system. Now I'm gonna actually show you guys this in action um, when we take a look at my footage. But I gotta say, guys, I give the Okai Beetle like six stars. Seriously, it exceeds five stars, not only because of how it looks, but also because of how comfortable it rides. I love that I'm saving money, saving gas money. I don't have to take a car everywhere I go. And I'm doing something good for the environment too. I think for me, I feel uh, so much better uh, purchasing a product when I know that it's doing something bigger. And that's exactly what the Okai Beetle is doing. And again, micro mobility is so big right now. I think we're really, um, you know, as a society, uh, thinking about different ways that we can get from point A to point B with the, as little impact as possible on the environment. And so Okai is such a phenomenal option. Guys, the retail price on this is $699, a, an incredible price point for something this innovative um, and also something with, that will, uh, you know, has great battery life, can get you um, up to 25 miles. That's the, that's the range here again, and, and go up to 16 miles an hour. I love it. Like I said, six stars, 10 stars. Let's go all the way to 10 stars, you guys. I love the Okai Beetle and I know that you will too. But I want you guys to see it in action. Like I said, I just took it out here for a spin around Palo Alto. Um, it was a beautiful day here, beautiful fall day. Lots of leaves on the ground though. So a little bit of a bumpier ride as you can see in the video. But let's go ahead and roll that um, now and you guys can check out the Beetle in action. Alrighty, so I just took the Okai Beetle out from the car trunk. As you guys can see, it's folded here. So it's really easy to take on the go because it does fold down. This is all part of its design. It's compatible uh, for travel and also uber, uber portable. So I'm actually gonna fold it up, back up right here. And using the clamps, I'm gonna clamp it um, into place and lock it, both the front handlebars. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Okai, um, Okai is a company that is obsessed with micro mobility. So this scooter is electric, but it's very different from your traditional electric scooter. I want to point out a couple of the features that we have here on the Okai. So as you can see, we have these nice 
uh, rubberized grips here on the end of the handlebars. We also have this LED display in the middle that tells you everything. It's your speedometer, it's your battery check. Um, it's also uh, where you can see um, if, your, if your front light is on, if your rear light is on, which is great again for safety. We're gonna cross the street right now and go over to a neighborhood where I'm actually going to try out the Okai Beetle. Now, some other um, key points here with the Okai is that it's incredibly comfortable to sit on the Okai. The seat here is super, super cushy and comfy. It fits really well underneath you, gives you lots of support. There's also this layer of shock absorption underneath the seat. So that's really nice too, because on super bumpy roads, it just gives you that extra layer of, uh, of comfortability and also um, security as you sit and ride your Okai Beetle. Now, if you look down here, we have um, this extra wide sort of foot platform area. So that's where you can put both feet and that's also got like a nice sort of grip to it. So your feet won't slide off as you ride it around. Now the Okai reaches up to 16 miles per hour. Um, it also goes uh, 25 miles. That's the distance range on it. The battery sits inside of uh, the Okai underneath this footrest area. And the key, this NFC key, will unlock that area so when you need to recharge the battery, you just reach for your key. The key also uh, starts your Okai Beetle, unlocks the, the Okai Beetle. And I'm gonna show you guys in just a second with just a simple touch, we're going to unlock the Okai and take it for a spin. Such a beautiful day down here in Palo Alto. We've got some beautiful trees on this street. So I'm really looking forward to a ride. All right, guys, so I am sitting on the Okai Beetle right now. I'm ready to take it for a spin. I've got the key right here. This is an NFC key. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, touch it to the actual LED screen right here to turn it on. There we go. And we could do the same thing to turn it off. You can also turn it on manually with the key with the buttons here on the front. Just hit the unlock button once. There we go, hit the lock button and you can unlock and lock it as easy as that. Now you can also download, download the app that is uh, that accompanies the Okai Beetle and actually control it from your phone. Lock it and unlock it with your phone. But I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it. It's my favorite way to unlock the Okai Beetle. And here we go, we've got this function button right here on the left side. So if I press that, we go to the LED display here so you guys can see we've got the speedometer we also have the battery life here and we also have the driving mode so that h indicates uh, the highest mode which is actually the sport mode this is my favorite mode because it utilizes um, all of the available power and acceleration that's currently in the okai but there are two other modes as well that we'll get to in just a second but let's go out with a bang here let's start off with a bang i should say and let's go ahead and actually use the throttle and I'll show you guys the brake system as well. We've got our brake bell too here. So off we go on the Okai Beetle. All right guys, I'm ready for this ride. It's already such a smooth ride. We're going down this beautiful street and I'm actually gonna, because I'm in the highest mode, I'm gonna accelerate a little bit here. Look how quickly the Beetle is able to accelerate here. Look at that. 15 miles an hour, I'm cruising down this street. There is a cruise control setting as well, but because I'm going a little bit of a shorter distance, I wanna be sure to actually uh, utilize the brakes here. We're coming up to a stop. So using the brakes, I've got my right hand on the throttle. I can brake very, very quickly and easily just like that. Now it's very easy also to kind of get back onto the actual scooter when you need to, let's say you're at a stop like that one and turn around, turns so easily. Now this road is a little bit bumpy. I mean, look at all of the uh, kind of the trees, right? Leaves and things that have fallen out. Um, so it's, it gives it a little bit of a bumpier, a bumpier texture here, but that's okay. That's no match for the Beetle because of that shock absorption that we have uh, both in the seat and also in the wheels too. These are 10 inch pneumatic uh, tires that are great for absorbing shock and they're also help in reducing the risk of flats 
which is great too. You, who wants to go out there and uh, experience a flat tire on their Okai Beetle? No thank you. That was such a great ride. So now I'm actually gonna go ahead and shift into the next mode, which is the eco mode. So the eco mode does go a little bit slower uh, because it is exactly what it says. It is the eco mode. So let me just show you guys once these cars pass. Um, so the eco mode is going to actually help to, um, you know, maintain some battery power. It's for when you are kind of going a little bit, you know, leisurely down the street, nothing too crazy, um, pretty slow here, but a really nice ride, still very, very smooth. And you guys can see that E that's flashing again. That means that we're in eco mode here. Now I'm actually going to stop and, and shift into our next mode, which is the standard mode which is probably the most common again, unless you want to get somewhere a little bit quicker. So the L is the standard mode. We're going to go ahead and now this mode is great for kind of balancing both speed and battery life. And you can see I'm still, I'm getting up to 10 miles an hour there. So a nice, uh, a nice steady speed here. Again, a nice, really smooth ride. Beautiful day out here. Oh, a little bit of a bump, but again, that shock absorption is so nice because it keeps you nice and uh, nice and stabilized on the seat, and also keeps keeps uh, the bottom, the lower half of you, really happy, not sore, not feeling any of that whiplash. Here we go. We're gonna brake at the stop. Brakes are really sensitive. Great for stopping quickly, and then again, easy to get back on and keep going. I'm gonna turn around here. So here we go. This is the uh, this is the standard mode. And if I click once here over here on the left again, this function button does everything for you. You can see the LED screen. Um, the brightness went down just a notch, and then we have this bright green light symbol in front. That means that my uh, my headlight is on now. So again, when it gets a little bit darker outside, you definitely want to hit that on. We can see that we have full charge here on the Beetle. Those four um, those four bars there and in, in the bottom that are a little bit in like kind of a, a circular. Um, circular uh, configuration there the, that is the battery life so we are on full charge and we're cruising it's a great day so again guys those are the three modes and i'm so excited to keep writing this out here super super fun ride very quiet as well we do have a cruise control feature too so again if you need to get somewhere quickly you can hit the cruise control and you can cruise of course i'm in a residential area so great to use the brake system such a fun ride so comfortable and i love that i'm seated love this thing all right guys it's time to head back to the store so let's go You guys, so much fun. Seriously, I, I know you couldn't see my face in that video, but I was seriously smiling from ear to ear the entire time because the Okai, it's just so fun. It literally is so fun and free. And again, that's something that Okai really has, you know, they've thought about the design, they've thought about the entire experience. You saw me there, take it out of the trunk, actually unfold it, right, and, and lock it into place. It's so easy uh, to take with you really anywhere you go. I'm a commuter. I'm getting on and off the train. I can so easily pack this up and take this with me um, or put it in the car, like I said, too. That's absolutely an option as well. The other thing I love, too, is like if you live in an apartment or maybe in a smaller uh, a smaller space, this will fit really nicely in your space because it has that folding option and that folding mechanism. I'm holding the key right now. You guys saw me turn it on and off. And just to reiterate, you've got three different ways that you can turn it on and off. And you can also, uh, one of those ways is downloading the app so that you can actually control it from your phone. You can unlock and lock it from your phone. So if you're someone that loves app integration, yes, the Okai Beetle does have app integration. So you can absolutely download the app and pair it to the scooter so that you can, uh, again, control it right from your phone. Um, so you guys, the, uh, the Beetle retails again for $699, which I think is a phenomenal price point. I think it's also a great gift idea for, you know, anyone that, that's in your life that's maybe, um, 
commuting, maybe shorter distances that 20, within that 25 mile range. This is such a great gift. I also think it's perfect for you know any college students out there riding around their campuses. Um, this will get you to and from class in style and also with a lot of comfort, maximum comfort. Now I also wanna point out too, uh, we talked a little, I talked a little bit about the battery in the video um, that's underneath the, the footrest area. You can charge the actual scooter itself or you can actually take out that battery and you can charge the battery itself. Okai does also offer um, the option for you guys to actually purchase additional batteries on their website. So you can purchase multiple batteries, have them charging at home so that you are never without a fresh battery for your next ride. And I love that feature so much. I just gotta say you guys, I had such a fun time, like I said, but also I felt really comfortable and really safe. And I think that's so important. Safety, obviously, especially um, with, with it getting a little bit darker outside earlier. Um, it's really important to have a nice bright headlight and brake light, which the Okai Beetle has. Um, also really important to have a, a, a stable and uh, really effective brake system, which the Okai Beetle has. So I love that Okai has really thought about safety. They also have a safety checklist. Um, now, I just want to mention too that the assembly is really easy as well. When you guys get your Okai Beetle and you unbox it and assemble it, you will be out on the road seriously in no time. It's so, so quick. And really everything about the experience, again, from the unboxing to the assembly to actually taking out, taking it for a spin in your neighborhood or wherever you're at is so great. And you guys saw me go over some of those bumps, like I said, right? So those bumps, right, you don't feel the shock factor as much because of the shock absorption, both in the seat and also in the wheels. The turning too, very, very easy, as I mentioned earlier. And you could tell once I got to those stop signs, I just did a whoop. A nice little turn there and it was so easy for me to turn very kind of a nice turn radius there as well so I felt really comfortable definitely got a lot of looks out there on on the street and actually someone came up to me and said hey nice scooter um th that's the type of reaction that you guys will be getting with the Okai Beetle I promise you, you will love it. Um, your wallet will love it as well. Great, great price on the Okai. Now it comes in three different colors. As you can see, I've got the white a color here, but you guys can take your pick. There are three different colors. Um, really stylish too, seriously. You will be riding in style. And uh, the other thing that I love too is you can actually wear your most stylish outfit Seriously, if you're someone like me and you know I'm wearing sneakers today, but if I wanted to wear something with a little bit of a heel maybe, or if I wanted to wear you know a skirt or a dress um, for all you ladies out there, it would definitely be really comfortable even in a dress to ride the Okai Beetle. And um, you know, not like a bicycle um, or even a scooter where you're standing up where things are kind of blowing around. You can, you can sit down on the Okai. Um, you can still dress really professionally, especially if you're using it to get to and from work. Dress professionally, um, your clothes will be you know, totally fine. And also you won't um, you know, really expend any of your own personal energy because again, you get to sit down. It's a really comfortable ride. It gets you where you need to go. So you won't show up maybe to that board meeting or you know that conference call looking all sweaty and crazy um, because the Okai is so comfortable and relaxing too, which I really love. Safe, fun, and gets you where you need to go. Um, very, very effective uh, mode of uh, micro uh, transportation, micro mobility here from the company Okai. You guys check it out now, buy it now. I know that you're absolutely gonna love it and you're gonna love that you can take it with you anywhere you go, like I said, because of that folding feature because it's portable, it's compact, um, and it's comfortable. As soon as you unfold it, you're ready to go, you're ready for the road, and you can choose between those three different driving modes, whether you wanna do the eco mode, the standard mode, or that sport mode, which is my favorite, and get a little bit of speed on your, uh, on your scooter. You can absolutely do that. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this live stream. I have loved going out today in Palo Alto um, to try out the Beetle, 
Again, you guys can buy it right now, retails for $699, or maybe if you wanna come into the store and try it out, come into your local beta store. Guys, if you're in the Bay Area, we have it here in store at Beta Palo Alto. So come on down here, super easy, takes just a second um, to get all registered to be able to take it out onto University Avenue, drive it around a little bit, check it out for yourself. I highly recommend you come on down here, you give it a whirl, even if you're not in the market for a scooter, you guys have to try this scooter because it's so quiet, it's so much fun. I guarantee after you ride it, you're gonna want it or maybe someone will come to mind that you know that needs the Okai Beetle so you can tell them all about it. And you can also share um, the beta link with them and share this live stream with them so that they can learn more and ride the Okai Beetle to all of their favorite destinations. Guys, I'm gonna run right now. I'm actually gonna take this out for another spin, I think while there's still some light outside. And even when it gets dark, I've got my headlight and my brake light, like I said. So thanks again for tuning in to this live stream. Come on down here to Beta Palo Alto to check out the, the Okai Beetle in person for yourself. And I'll be back again very soon uh, with another live stream here from our Beta Shop studio in Beta Palo Alto. Bye.